Good evening to all of you, Mr. President, Mr. Prime Minister, ministers, chief rabbis, members of Knesset, Congressman and Mrs. Waxman, distinguished guests and our many American and Israeli friends who are here and those who are watching us being streamed live around the world. Thank you for joining us in celebrating the 235th anniversary of America's independence. Let me begin by thanking our sponsors who you will find listed in your program and see around you. Uh, I'm personally very grateful for their generous contributions. Without their support, uh, this event couldn't happen. I would like to give a special thanks to UPS for sponsoring the fireworks that we'll see soon. And finally, let me thank all the members of my embassy staff and especially my wife, Leslie, who worked so hard to make this event a success. Each year on the 4th of July, Americans celebrate our founding generation, men and women who struggled for freedom. On July 4, 1776, 56 delegates from 13 colonies assembled in Philadelphia and signed a document that changed the course of history. The Declaration of Independence, 235 years later, continues to inspire all those who yearn for freedom and just government. We Americans are proud that, as President Obama observed, the true strength of our nation comes not from the might of our arms or the scale of our wealth, but from the enduring power of our ideals, democracy, liberty, opportunity, and unyielding hope. We are very conscious that we must always strive to live up to our ideals and values and that this is the constant ongoing challenge of democracies. We sometimes fall short, but it is the strength of our successful democracy that we keep trying. While the United States and Israel are different countries in so many ways, we share goals and values which unite our two countries in bonds that truly are unbreakable. Like the United States, Israel struggled against overwhelming odds to achieve its freedom. It pioneered a new land, and as two vibrant democracies, we both understand that freedom and democracy must be cherished, nurtured, and defended. Americans have a clear and broadly shared understanding of Israel's security concerns and requirements. The President has made clear in word and deed that he stands united with Israel and will continue to do so in these challenging times. We all face momentous change and uncertainty in the Middle East, but the years ahead will also offer opportunities to build a better future for all people in the region. One characterized by more democratic government, greater freedom, and meaningful economic opportunity. I can assure you that America will work for this positive future, a future grounded in building and creating, not in destroying and I am confident that Israel will do so as well. American leaders had been warning for some time that the status quo in the Middle East was not sustainable, but reform has most often been too slow. In today's context, as the pace of change accelerates, the search for a genuine peace is more urgent than ever. The answer can only be found through negotiation, which is the only way to realize the goal of two states and to secure the peace security and stability which Israel needs and deserves. And as the President made clear last month, no country can be expected to negotiate with a terrorist organization sworn to its destruction. These times will be challenging, there is much to do, and I wish Israel and its leaders much success. As many of you know, Leslie and I will be leaving Israel shortly after three wonderful and all too short years here. We are deeply appreciative for the many kindnesses shown to us by our, our Israeli friends. You have shared your concerns and your hopes with us. You have opened your cities and towns and homes and families to us, showing us the complexity and diversity of your society and the tremendous promise of your country. I know Israelis will work hard to realize that promise, and in doing so, you can help transform your region in the coming years as you have transformed Israel in the past decades. 
It has been our entire family's privilege to visit with you in this wonderful country, the homeland of the Jewish people. We leave as friends, and you will be in our hearts and prayers. President Obama said recently that when he first touched his hand against the Western Wall and placed his prayer between its ancient stones, he immediately thought of all the centuries that the children of Israel had longed to return to their ancient homeland. Tonight, on the occasion of the celebration of America's independence, the hands of the American people are extended in friendship and brotherhood to the children of Israel. Shalom chaverim lehitraot. Thank you.